Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Snapcore with SRJ26. We are going in and I got a lot of work to show you. Uh, I, as usual, could not keep my fingers out of here and look at that. We've got a house. Let me uh, run out here and uh, just give you a look from outside. There we go. I went and found some reeds and it's not done but um, yeah it's going up. Uh, I don't know how big I'm going to make it or really what I'm going to do, but uh, that's the joy of this game, is just sort of making it up as you go along. Uh, I haven't really explored much, and I'm going to try to keep some of the stuff that I do on camera, but, you know, some of the building is going to happen off camera. As I told you, um, I have some news. I found some, some um, bugs, shall we say. Uh, let me just give you a little run of the place. We've got a... A little bit of a farm here to keep me uh, fed. And upstairs, I don't even know what I'm going to put up here, but something something good. I don't know. But um, as this is Snapcore, I've got some things to show you. Let me see. Um, I guess I'll show you my... Did I put some water down? Oh, no, I'm going to... No, I'm just kidding. I'm fine. Uh, it is a drop shoot. And um, I have not yet started really mining down here, but I will. And I'll get some diamonds and get myself some obsidian and make a portal to the nether and all that. And I'm doing my normal method of going down and around the drop chute. But, oh, oh, I forgot to put that in the right place. I always put it right there. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I put it, I put it right there. Nope, up, oh, up. Oh. I think we found a bug. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we found the torch bug. Um, the torches seem to prefer that wall, and it, they even uh, so you know they even prefer that the to be against a wall when like let me get all the way up the top and you'll well I can just put it right there. There you see. If I try to put it on the floor, it'll it'll just sort of bounce up to the wall. So we got some uh, some mental torches. The torches are kind of mental uh, this, this time around. Um, but they uh, they have found the bug, they know about it, so I don't need to report it or anything, and they are planning on fixing it, so, so yay. Um, another thing that I'm going to show you, which hopefully will go well, is that uh, normally, you know, you can sort of go over here and you can go over here and go down to the water, and then you can go back up and it works just fine. But yeah, over here, not so much. There's a spot over here where, nope, not there. Let's try right here. Yeah, now I'm pressing up and I'm not going up. And now I'm going up. So you'll have to take my word for it, but I'm pressing the space bar and I'm not going up at all. So what we have here is the snapshot trying to kill me, which I'm, I'm not thrilled about, but I expected it. It's kind of part of the fun of this. So um, yeah. But I survived. I survived the first uh, major encounter with death with this snapshot, which is not that major. Uh, where do we find the wither boss, I guess, huh? But um, apparently the undertow right here is so huge that I can't swim back up. And I think what's happening is that this block right here is a down current, or maybe this block right there is a down current, and it's not being filled in even though normally it would be. So you get this weird downward current that sort of sucks you down, and um, yeah, not good. Um, so I'm trying to make the house look nice, and uh, I've got I've got to finish this up, and I'm gonna, actually going to show you the other thing that I found, which is kind of cool. Let me see if I've got anything in here. I guess I'll put some cobblestone. And we'll get some jungle wood. I'll just do jungle wood. And we'll cook this up. And there's another thing I found, which I was pretty happy about, actually, which I'm going to hopefully surprise you with, unless you already know where I'm going with that. Um, okay, we got one stone, right? We can't do anything with one stone. Well, yes, we can. If we select the crafting grid, take this one block of stone, put it down, and you can make a button. Which is good, because before it would take two stones, you remember. I don't know if uh, what happens if you take two stones now, but um, it used to be that you would take one stone and one stone and that would make your button. Now you can just take two 
and each one is a button, which is good because I was always a little worried because taking two full two cubic meters of solid stone and compacting it into like one tiny little itty bitty thing of stone to make a button, but I I always I was worried about it to be honest because I sort of felt like we were pushing the boundaries of you know creating a singularity and you know suddenly we would have a black hole or something because that was a lot of material to sort of cram down into one uh, one small little thing. It never really made sense, so I, I guess I like what they're doing. Um, but yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, it's kind of weird that you can still take one meter block and you sort of cram it down into one tiny little stone button. Like maybe if you could make eight with <laughs> with that or something like that, that would make more sense. But uh, yeah, so that's oh, close, please come on. There you go. Yeah, so uh, that's the th the last thing I found, and I'm gonna try to get the uh, the house completed at some point. Nothing's ever complete, but uh, this will be my base for a while. Uh, this will be treacherous, I think. Treacherous crossing for me, but uh, I have not found any birch wood. We've got jungle trees and oak trees, and we've got spruce trees, but no birch trees yet. I'm going to put another ring of uh, stone up top there, and then I don't know what I'm going to do above that, but uh, I'll do something fun. And then I guess I'm going to start trying to get the stuff together to start showing you things from the snapshot. Uh, everyone knows about this snapshot already, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway and sort of try to make an anvil and, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, just because it'll prepare me for the eventual grind of getting new snapshots and finding the new stuff in those snapshots. Because that, that's going to be a challenge, I think. Um, so, uh, this is SRJ26 with uh, my fabulous new little house, which was not looking so fabulous at the end of last episode, but I spent some time and souped it up, and, oh, and I'm drowning. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. Um, and, yeah, the snapshot is already trying to kill me, so yay. <laughs> and uh, I guess uh, that's all for today, because I've got stuff to do tonight, but... Um, I will see you again soon, and I'll keep on churning these out every couple of days, I hope. And hopefully next time we'll have something else exciting, and hopefully I won't die between now and then. Thanks for watching, and catch you later. Bye-bye.